This will be the 11th video in my series on three-phase power transformers. In this video, I'll be looking at the delta to y connected transformer. You can find out more about the delta to y transformer in my course entitled Electrical Three-Phase Power Transformer Fundamentals. You can access this and my other courses on my stand store at this web address. For a delta to Y transformer, one terminal of the primary terminals are connected to the system lines or buses. The other terminals of the high side are connected to the adjacent primary terminal. On the secondary, one terminal of the secondaries are connected to the low voltage system lines or buses while the other terminals are connected together to form a neutral, which means that the H1 terminals are connected to the individual phase conductors. The H2 terminals are connected to the adjacent H1 terminal. On the secondary side, the X1 terminals of the secondary are connected to the individual phase conductors, while the low voltage X2 terminals are connected together to form a neutral on the secondary side. The phasers would look like this. You have the H1, H2 forming the red to white voltage. You have the H1 to H2 forming the white to blue voltage. And you have the H1 to H2 forming the blue to red voltage. You'll notice that the uh, X2 terminals are jumpered to the X1 terminal of the adjacent phase so that you form that recognizable delta connection. On the secondary side, you have the red, white, and blue phases. The X1 to X2 are shown there. The X1 to X2 on the white phase are shown there with the X2 connected, of uh, the white phase connected to the X2 of the red phase and the X1 of the blue phase connected to the X2 of the uh, white phase and the red phase, which together, because they are all connected together, the X2 terminals form a neutral on the secondary side. Again, it's an important thing to notice that the primary red to white voltage is in phase with the secondary red to neutral voltage as well as the primary white to blue voltage is in phase with the secondary white to neutral voltage and the blue to red voltage is in phase with the secondary blue to neutral voltage. Or in other words uh, of saying this uh, is that the primary phase to phase voltages are in phase with the secondary phase to neutral voltages. I'm now going to compare the phase-to-phase -phase voltages of the primary and secondary of this transformer. And I'm only going to look at the red phase transformer because the, the uh, white and the blue are virtually the same. Um, because of the phase relationship, and I'm looking only at the secondary side of the transformer, we know that the phase-to-phase -phase voltage will lead the phase-to-neutral voltage by 30 degrees. And we know that the red phase secondary is magnetically linked to the red-to-white phase primary of the red phase transformer. So that means that the phase-to-phase -phase secondary voltage must lead the phase-to-phase -phase voltage of the primary. And in general terms, we might say that the secondary leads the primary by 30 degrees. Let's look at the magnitudes of the voltages now. And we know from the phase relationship uh, of the secondary side of the transformer that the phase-to-phase -phase secondary voltage is root 3 times the phase-to-neutral secondary voltage. And because the phase-to-phase -phase primary is magnetically linked to the phase-to-neutral secondary, 
the turns ratio may be given by the magnitude of the primary phase to phase voltage over the magnitude of the phase to neutral voltage on the secondary, which can also be written the magnitude secondary red to neutral voltage is equal to the magnitude primary red to white voltage divided by the turns ratio. We can now replace the red to neutral voltage in the secondary phase relationship equation which gives us the magnitude of <coughs> the secondary red to white voltage is equal to root 3 times the magnitude of the red to white primary voltage all over the turns ratio. In order to keep these videos as short as possible, I will leave the current analysis of a delta to y transformer to my next video. So stay tuned for the rest of the story. Also, if this is one of the first videos of my series that you have tuned into, you may feel that some of the equations or analyses were not obvious. That is because the development of the formulas were done in a previous video. So I encourage you to go back and review my earlier videos on three-phase power transformers 1 through 10. Or better still, take the full course entitled Electrical Three-Phase Power Transformer Fundamentals located on my stand store at this web address. This video is part of my Electrical Technical Information Series. In this series, I will be covering essential topics to help you understand electrical systems. Be sure and stay tuned, as I will also, from time to time, be reviewing electrical products that, in my opinion, are worthy of paying attention to. Some of those products include EcoFlow's big and small standby generators. This is the best time to try out any of EcoFlow's products because they are having a huge sale starting April 4th and lasting until April 21st. Here are just a few of their products starting with the EcoFlow Delta Pro and Delta Pro Ultra and the Delta 2 Max. Including the river line of smaller standby generators the Delta 2, the Wave 2, the Glacier, and the River 2 Pro. The River Pro, the River 2 Max, and the River 2. And a range of portable solar panels, including a 400 watt portable solar panel, and a 200 watt bifacial, and the Glacier. And finally, a unique product, the Wave 2, which is a portable air conditioner slash heater that fits anywhere. To obtain more information on this subject, simply fill out the information requested when you go to this website. Before I end this video, I want to repeat the connection to obtain my free copy of the Ultimate Guide to Residential Standby Generators and receive access to the major April sales on many of the EcoFlow products. Also, here's the connections to obtain a free copy of my 50-page electrical power crib sheets. And finally, here's the link to all of my electrical courses, which are located in my stand store.